Hello, so in last video we saw how can we configure a database mirroring between two SQL Server instances. So if I go back to my network diagram, so in this diagram, uh, or basically I had four nodes in my network and on this node one, I have SQL Server 2019 instance installed and I configured database mirroring between these two nodes. So whatever transactions I will perform on node one, those will get replicated on this mirrored node. All right, so let's do a quick recap of what we did in last video. So if I go back to node one, let me minimize this guy. If I go back to node one, so I created a HR database. Once I created the HR database, I created the table as well. Okay, then I took the full backup and we also had to make sure we while creating the database, we choose recovery model as full. Okay, there are three different uh, recovery models, but database mirroring will work only for full recovery model. All right. So after creating the database and creating a table, we took the full database backup. Remember, so if I go back, there was one of the criteria, full recovery model, uh, restore with no recovery. So after we took the full database backup, we'll, I'm, I'm stressing full database. I will come, come back to that point. Once I took that full database back of HR database, we went over to mirrored node and while restoring task restore database while restoring the database, I selected that uh, full database backup of node one and while in the options I selected no recovery. All right. And after that, once that uh, mirror mirrored got established between two different nodes. I added these four records on node one and those four records exactly got replicated on this mirrored node. All right. So that is what it is. Now let's go back to, so go back to this documentation of, uh, provided by Microsoft related to mirroring. Now let's look at, uh, these first point. So what it says is, Create the mirror database by restoring the following backups using restore with no recovery. Following backups. Now, what those following backups are? First, restore a recent full backup. That is what we did of the principal database after making sure that the principal database was already using the full recovery model that we did. The mirror database must have the same database. Perfect. So first point we validated. Second point, if you have taken any differential backups, we have not taken any dif differential backups. So there is no use or we don't have to worry about any differential backups. Last thing is restore all the log backups done since the full backup or differential backups. Now we validate these two points now in this video. So this first point we validated. And so what we did, basically we took the full backup of uh, primary database after that after taking the full backup we haven't we have not took any differential or log backup okay and same full backup we restored on mirror database and we established the connective uh, mirroring between uh, principal and mirrored node all right now in this case we are going to skip this differential backup but we'll take the log backup okay so what we'll do we'll take the full backup as we did earlier we'll not restore that immediately Okay, we will take that full or, or we can even restore that uh, full backup on a mirrored node, but will not establish a mirroring uh, connectivity. Okay, uh, will not configure the mirroring before configuring the mirroring. We'll first take the log backup of principal node and then we'll try to we'll see that how that changes or why this particular point they have mentioned. Restore all the log backups and then only you start establish the mirroring session. But if we try to establish a mirroring session before taking the restoring the log backup, what happens that we'll see in this video. So let me go back. Uh, what I will do, I will first uh, let me close everything. And I will delete this database. Perfect. I will minimize. Let me go back to node one. Now, uh, let me hit the select. I'm not going to delete this database. So I have four records. What I will do, I will take the full backup of this task backup and I will replace this. This hr.bak file is already exist. I will replace that simply. Perfect. Now I will restore this particular full backup, which has 
four records there with no recovery mode okay database restore database files uh, sorry device okay I need to copy that first of all so this is the old database I will remove this and let me copy that new database backup so slash z dollar MSQL backup so this is the latest database backup I will copy it over here and then I will try to restore this one now click OK and I will use no recovery perfect all done now if I try to start the mirroring it will all work fine that is what we saw in last video but what we'll do before establishing a mirroring between two nodes what I will do is I'll go back here and let's uh, let's add another record so fifth record I will add and let's say Ashish Cheshwal so I have five records there and the database one which we have restored over there that has only four records so we have one record extra over here okay and this is before establishing a, a mirroring okay so what I will do now I will take the log backup so backup and instead of full I will select log alright I will remove this add and let's say hr underscore log alright it's again on Z drive click OK okay so now if I go back I should see this log backup as well okay forget about this extension that's okay now uh, let's try to establish a mirroring between these two nodes so I will right click task mirror configure sec uh, security next no uh, this is my primary principal instance next connect this is my mirrored instance next uh, and here last time we skipped that let's say I will specify my ID Gokta slash ma and the same user exists on that instance as well finish close start mirroring let's see okay now look at this what it says is the remote copy of database HR has not been rolled forward to a point in time that is encompassed in the local copy of database log. What it says is this one has more logs, one extra log backup taken and that same log backup has not been restored on the mirror database and that exactly what this Microsoft documentation is saying. What they are saying is before you create the database mirroring establish a database mirroring you need to make sure all these three things so this thing we did so we have restored full database backup okay but after that we took the log backup as well so that is the third point what it says is restore all the log backups done since the full or differential backup okay you can uh, set up a mirroring so after that so once you clear all these three points then only you start the uh, establish the uh, mirroring session between those two nodes so what I will do now so I have already taken the log backup that same log backup I need to restore on that other node so I will minimize this guy and I will go to this mirrored node let me copy this guy copy paste it over here okay I will right click on this uh, task restore and I will select transaction log because it's a tran log backup okay from device add and we do not have extension selected so I will use hr.log perfect click OK I will again go to options and I have to use uh, restore with no recovery because that is what is needed uh, in order to perform 
or establish a mirroring between two nodes all right click ok perfect so now this has the most recent transaction log okay what I will do now I will add another record on my principal node all right so let's add check and that is a sixth record so basically these uh, okay okay so basically uh, these two records are new I mean this record was part of log backup this record we added after the log backup and these four records were the original records okay now try to establish a connectivity or a mirroring between these two nodes next no next that's my principal instance that's my mirrored instance perfect next uh, let's specify it, it doesn't need because it's, I'm using the same user but still I mean last video we did not specify anything it doesn't matter so next finish start mirroring and this time it worked all right let's add another record let's say so dpm and that's the seventh record perfect and now I will uh, so now we have to validate whether whatever records got inserted these three records those three records we can see on mirrored instance or not so what I will do I will stop the mirroring once again so can so that we can move that database out of uh, recovery mode so let me go to mirroring remove mirroring we can use even failover but that's fine we'll see that option afterwards in subsequent videos okay, click OK refresh perfect let me go back to node 1 sorry mirrored node so if I go here okay let me I don't know what was that error but let's see so if I go back I'll copy this command because that is in no recovery state right now I need to bring that into out of no recovery state recovery state so perfect now let me refresh it again perfect and let me select records from employees table perfect so we have exact seven records now all right so basically in last two videos like last video and this video we saw how can we establish a metering session between two nodes with full backup as well as log backup all right so thank you for watching this video and we'll see you in the next video